Hello, it's me Metabella, and I'm going to show you how to make a dash system like the strongest battlegrounds in Roblox Studio. Usually this code will be like 100 plus lines long and super confusing, but I spent hours trying to find a way simpler way to do this. And at last, I did. If you don't understand or face any issues, comment or join my Discord server. Without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Okay, so let's get it all... Um, Let's get the system set up. So in replicated storage, create a folder. You can name it whatever you want. I'll just call it animations. And th inside the animations folder, create an animation object. Duplicate it um, four times. Now let's start animating. I already have lots of rigs, but in case you don't know how to make one, just go to avatar, rig builder, um, you can choose any rig type you want. This works for R6 and R15. Create a block avatar. Put it down somewhere. Open the animation editor. So now we're going to be creating some animations for left dash, right dash, front dash, and back dash. So to do that, um, open the animation editor. Click on your rig. Name the animation, uh, whatever you want. Just I'll just call it left and animate your rig. When you're done with the animation, go to the three dots, click on publish to Roblox. Uh, you can title it and change the settings however you want. Then save, copy the animation ID and close. Now go to one of your objects paste in the uh, animation ID and rename it to left dash. Now just repeat this step for all the other animations. Once you have got all your dash animations and rename your dash animation objects here, add some sounds and sound service. So if you're wondering how to get sounds, go to home, toolbox, click on the models tab and click on audio and just uh, search whoosh or dirt, something like that. When you found one that you like, press insert and rename it to what you can just rename it to whatever you want. Um, I'll call it dash SFX. Now let's get into the actual scripting part. Go to starter player, starter character scripts and create a local script. Rename this script to dash system. Delete um, the placeholder code. Now we're going to get our services. So do local UIS is equal to game get service user input service. So basically, if you're wondering what the user input service is, the user input service is needed to detect clicks. For example, you want something to happen when you press L, you'll need user input service to actually make the script know that we have pressed L. And we're storing it in a variable called UIS. Now go on a line underneath and get local RS is equal to game get service replicated storage. Basically, we're saying um, in our game, there's a replicated storage folder. Just get that local ss is equal to game get service sound service we need this because our sound effects are stored in sound service now go two lines underneath and we're going to get um the players that join the game so do local players is equal to game dot players dot local players so the, yeah, this is basically the players that join the game. Do local character is equal to player dot character. Local humanoid is equal to character dot humanoid. And lastly, local HRP is equal to character dot humanoid root part. So if you're wondering um, why these three variables are needed, well, basically we need the player's humanoid. 
So basically, every inside every player or every rig, there's something called a humanoid. It's basically like the main controller of your player. With your humanoid, you can um, do stuff like do deal damage and so on. And your humanoid root part is basically like the roots of your player. For example, in our case, we need the humanoid root part to make the player go ahead or give it some speed. You can also uh, put cool stuff like particle emitters in the humanoid root part and your character will just have like particles around it. So yeah, we're going to make um, a boolean variable. Boolean basically means true or false. So do local dash cool down is equal to false. So basically we're making this variable so that players can just spam dash. Like um, if they dash once, they have to wait for like 5 or 10 seconds to, till they get to dash again. Now we're going to be creating something called a table. We're, this is basically going to be a table of animations. You're probably like, wait, what is a table? Well, a table is used to insert data and get it out and modify it. So we're going to be get, making a table of all our dash animations. So to do that, do local dash anims is equal to curly braces and then enter. Now do forward dash is equal to humanoid weight child animator dot oh sorry load animation replicated storage animations square brackets quotation marks forward dash and at the end add a comma so basically what we're seeing here is inside our character's humanoid there's something called an animator so we're basically getting that and we're loading an animation inside that animator and that animation is our forward dash so inside replicated storage we have an Fo animations folder called animations so we're getting the forward dash component of that you can just um duplicate this and paste it three times and just change forward dash to backward dash and here do backward dash here do left dash left dash right dash right dash now we have made our table of animations and do local function. We're creating something called a function and we're calling it destroy. Okay, so now do if humanoid root part find first child and linear velocity, then, so what we're saying is if Inside the humanoid root part, we find something called linear velocity. So linear velocity is basically used to push the player forward, which is what we need for our dash system. So yeah, now we're going to do if humanoid root part find first child and attachment then. So basically the same thing we did before, but we're doing this uh, for the attachment. Basically what an attachment is, it's, uh, it's basically an object you can add inside the humanoid root part. Inside the object you can add different things like particle emitters, linear velocity, and so on. So if we find an attachment, then weight 0.4. So we're, taking, we're telling it to um, take a small break before continuing the next line. HRP. I'll just copy paste this attachment destroy and I'll do the same thing with the linear velocity. Now our destroy function is complete. Basically uh, later we're going to be creating uh, the linear velocity and the attachment. And at the very end when we're done dashing we're going to call this function. So now um, get out of this function uis.inputbegin connect function and we'll do input is typing so basically what this line of code means 
is we're getting the user input service. And inside the user input service, there's a method called input began. So it's usually there to detect when we first press a key on our keyboard. And uh, basically we're connecting it to a function with input and, and is typing passing. So now do if is typing, then return end. So yeah, this is just so they don't dash while they're like saying something in chat. Now do if input dot key code is equal to, to enum dot key code dot left control and dash cooldown is equal to equal to false. Then basically what this line is saying, if we have pressed left control and the dash cooldown is false, then do something. If you want it to be like a different key for when you want to dash, like example Q, change left control to Q, uppercase Q. So yeah, I'm just going to change it back to left control. Now we're going to be getting our sound effects that we put in sound service. So do local dash sfx is equal to sound service dot um dash sound effects clone and then do dash sound effects dot parent is equal to humanoid root part basically um we're creating a variable to store our dash sound effects and we're like cloning our sound effects and we're storing it inside the humanoid root part so now we'll do dash cooldown is equal to true so we're turning the cooldown on now do local velocity is equal to instance dot new linear velocity and comma hrp so basically um we're creating the linear velocity from before and we're calling it velocity and putting it inside the humanoid root part local attachment is equal to instance dot new attachment comma humanoid root part so we're creating an attachment and putting it inside the humanoid root part now we're basically going to uh, make it that the player actually goes forward if we press um left control so to do that do velocity dot max force is equal to math dot huge velocity dot velocity constraint mode is equal to nm dot velocity constraint mode dot vector velocity dot attachment zero is equal to attachment velocity dot relative to is equal to enum dot Accelerator relative to dot attachment zero attachment dot world position is equal to humanoid root part dot dot assembly center of mass. Basically, this line means we want the velocity to be relative to something. So we're gonna make it relative to the attachment we just made. This is just so the velocity is applied to the center of the humanoid. So now go down two lines. We're gonna do the actual WAS the dashing part over here. So do if UIS is key down enum dot key code w dot w then dash anims dot forward dash play. So basically we're playing the um, forward dash animation. Now do velocity dot vector velocity is equal to vector three dot new zero zero minus sixty five. So basically this is um, the direction where we're going to dash. Now we're gonna play the animation and wait for it to stop. So do dash anims dot forward dash dot stop wait dash sfx 
play and game dot debris add item dash sound effects dash sfx dot time length basically what this means is we're playing the dash sound effects and we're removing it using game that debris add atom. We're saying what we want to remove, which is the dash sound effects, and the amount of dur the amount of time we want to remove it in. So here we're just saying when the dash sound effects is finished, then we want to just remove it. Now just duplicate this, paste it underneath, and change the if to else if. And now do um a now just play the left dash i'll remove the end from if and change where um where we want um to dash so before we put minus 50 65 on the z now we're going to do minus 65 on the x and change this to left dash Copy paste this underneath. Change this for S. Now backwards and backwards dash. Backwards dash here. Instead of minus minus sixty five on the X, sixty five on the Z. Now, um, paste this down again. And this is going to be just. This is going to be else, and just remove this, uh, just remove this line, and now it's the right dash. And change the, um, change where the, the velocity is direction to 65 on the, um, X. Now do, now we're going to um, call our destroy function, which destroys the linear velocity and attachment. So do destroy and then wait um, five and then do dash cooldown is equal to false. Wait one. Yes, it works. Oh my gosh, what is that? Dang! It's not stopping. Um, okay, I changed. Basically, uh, what I changed is instead of making it directly um, getting the humanoid root part and finding and finding the attachment and linear velocity from there, I'm, I'm first gonna get the character, find for child humanoid root part, and then get the... Um, Linear velocity and attachment. Let's see if it works. Control. It works! If you guys have any questions or any errors, like I said in the intro, join my Discord or comment down. That's the end of this video. See you guys next time.